What does that mean? No one can really define that moment. My pain is now my brother's pain. My pain is now my sister's pain. Why? Because when I saw Mike Brown laying dead on the streets, when I saw Eric Garner getting choked out, and when I heard not guilty, if the black community only moved in pain, now everyone else today moves in our same kind of pain. When you hear African Americans speak upon racism and some individuals want to turn a deaf ear like, no, 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 no. Look at LeBron James. Look at Beyonce. You have a black president. I said to you, how do we have a black president and our communities are still torn? How do we have a president of color and my Muslim brothers and sisters are still being blamed for being terrorists? How can you tell me about equality, liberation, and freedom when I walk around and I am being hunted every day for the color of my skin? My people, welcome to our reality. I feel that this is a great call. It's a wake-up call. I encourage everyone, don't be in fear. In fear of what? In fear of cowards who want to troll on your social media? Cowards who want to write and scribble negative signs? Cowards that hide behind hoods? Cowards that won't man up or woman up and say how they feel? The one thing I love about Trump as long as we know who our enemy is, we gonna be all right. Because I'm gonna keep it 100. Hillary would have got in, y'all would have been singing and dancing, and Jesus, Jesus, thank you. No. America got some issues. America's been having issues. Now it's our time to clean America up. We must all stand together, united. Not inside here, but outside, because that's where it counts. When I see you, you don't move, you don't walk away, you smile, and you say, how you doing, brother? How you doing? And you say, how you doing, sister? How you doing? Man. Young man, how are you? Bless. Bless, queen. Thank you. Indeed. Bless, sister. My man. Ah, thank you, sir. That's how we have to move. Because if we look defeated, they win. If we cry, they win. If we act like it's the end of the world, they win. This is what they wanted. And we can't give them what they want. We must give them a fight that they never saw coming. Because when the predictions came down, and the first time when I saw Donald Trump say the thing about our brothers and sisters, of the Latino race, I said, mm, he didn't just say that. <laughs> but then, when I've seen so many other opportune times, the media used to take control and say, we're not going to allow that and we're going to shut it down. I saw something different. I saw the media gravitate to it. Blast it out. Even with the minor boycotts, they were still putting this man in front street. I said, wait a minute. This is something different. They were worried about the ratings because the shock treatment of what Trump said got them ratings. Ratings is money. It kept people watching. They created a monster that now we have to deal with because truth be told, Trump don't even know why he's the president this time right now. 